I owe a lot to Harborview and I owe a lot to Pioneer Clinic for helping me change my life. Harborview is a pretty amazing place. We really sit almost like a hub in this community. I feel like there might be some people still in this world that love me. We're a community-based, mission-focused, university hospital for patients from all walks of life. And people want to choose to get their care there. So it is very unique, even in looking in the public hospital domain. But that's been the, the secret of our success. And I believe one of the reasons why the community has wanted to work with us, invest their trust in us, and really help us extend services. To truly provide health to an individual and health to, to the community, you need to reach out in the community with community empowerment programs, community education programs, programs that serve people where they live. Harborview and the health department have a number of such programs. House Calls as a program was seen as uh, an important opportunity for the communities to learn about health care, but also a great opportunity for um, clinical staff within the institution to learn about uh, these communities and in that way to tailor the care more so that it is accepted and so that it is welcome. Our interpreters provide a lot of cultural information. We couldn't possibly become experts on 80 different cultural groups, so we really rely on the interpreters to act as guides for us. Harborview's mission population are, are uh, vulnerable, underserved populations, populations of color, and those are the populations that are disproportionately impacted by chronic illness. What we've been able to do is provide training in evidence-based approaches to community-based health workers who can then go into the homes of patients and help them develop strategies and implement strategies that allow them to lead healthier lives. We've tapped into the richness of the community to provide what people with chronic disease need to be able to take care of themselves. It's about going to families with a message that resonates with their concerns. Uh, a message of health and safety for their kids, a message about hope and empowerment. When we wanted to promote child passenger safety in four to eight year old children, we went to the Head Starts, uh, the schools, the preschools in, in the targeted areas and, and got them to participate with us. They gave us access to their parent groups and through them to the children that we wanted to serve. When people can work side by side with a person with a, a mental illness and that person is willing to let people know that they have a mental illness, it changes the way society views mental illness in general. Um, it also changes the way that other people with mental illness view what their opportunities are. I had not worked in 17 years and I got involved with the choosing your next job class that was very helpful in giving me the confidence to go out and look for a job. Nothing predicts who can go to work um, and who can't. Actually having a job decreases people's uh, likelihood of returning to the hospital. A disabled person getting a job makes you feel like, um, like you've won the lottery or something. I mean, it, it's just phenomenal. The only by addressing underlying causes like mental illness like Harborview is doing, can we expect to move from a state where we have a lot of homeless people to what we're trying to achieve in this city, which is no homelessness. There are so many struggles for people who are homeless as far as getting shelter and food. It's so much of their day is spent trying to get the basic survival things of life. And so healthcare often gets moved to the very bottom of that list. So what we try to do is make it as easy as possible for people to actually attend to their health even though they're homeless. They got me stable, they gave me hope, and they let me, they gave me an opportunity to live. They taught me how to care about myself and believe in myself and they did it for me until I learned how to do it for myself. And they're still there. The respite clients come to us at their very lowest. They need the support of the respite team. And it's a team of doctors, nurses, chemical dependency workers, and mental health specialists that can give them the support to put their lives back on track again. I'm really thankful 
that, that these people really stopped and cared for somebody like me, you know. Because I, 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 I didn't think anybody really cared. But there is people out there that really care. And it makes me feel really good. The importance of Foster McGaw to Harborview is the alignment of the mission of that award with the mission of this hospital. And the visibility that it has as really inspiring other hospitals and other communities to partner with the community to extend service. It was really a testament for the incredible work that's done every day by our dedicated physicians and staff as they reach out and care for some of the most vulnerable citizens in our community. Congratulations to the entire team at Harborview and all the 2007 Foster McGough finalists for leading the way to a healthier America. We're proud of you. The Baxter International Foundation, the Cardinal Health Foundation, and the American Hospital Association congratulate the 2007 Foster G. McGaw Prize winner, Harborview Medical Center, Seattle, Washington. We also honor the finalists, King's Daughters Medical Center, Ashland, Kentucky, Riverside Health System, Newport News, Virginia, St. Joseph Healthcare, Lexington, Kentucky.